This programme contains strong language from the outset and throughout. I've got your kit, it's all washed. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Shall I help you fold? Yeah, do you know how to fold? Jacob is packing to head off to Gateshead, nearly three hours away, because he now plays for them and lives there half the time. So I moved my entire life to Manchester for the love of my life, and now he's left me. Brilliant. So are you excited to go back to Gateshead then? Well, uh, I'm excited because I get to keep playing football. It's the main thing, isn't it? Even though the season's cancelled. <laughs> Jacob being away all week isn't really ideal, especially in the run-up to our wedding, which actually might not even go ahead because of COVID and travel restrictions. What about if the wedding gets cancelled? Huh? What about if the wedding gets cancelled? I think this is the place we're actually going to get married. I can't believe it. I have put so much work into this wedding and so much money. I found the perfect venue in Ibiza. I've got my dream dress. Oh, I'm so happy! I've got amazing outfits for my bridesmaids. And I even found a hat for my mum. I actually don't even know if this is going to go ahead and if I'm even going to be able to have my wedding in Ibiza. And if I can't, that is going to be horrendous. What about the wedding goes ahead? Yeah. And everyone has to UK quarantine when they get back? Obviously, this quarantine on arrival back to the UK is what's killing us. But if that gets taken away, there's no excuse. No, I know. That's it'll be perfect, obviously, if that doesn't happen. But I'm just saying I'm if just it does. Keep them positive, you Jacob. Can't... I don't need this negative energy and <laughs> okay. I would like you to stop talking about it. Now. All right, we'll talk about it another time. Okay. Where are you taking us? No. I'm going to take him bad. He's tired. So much has happened since the last time that you've seen us. I had my bladder operation. It went good. It's not like everything's gone. Like, some days I do feel sensitive. I don't know if that fear of me bladder turning bad again will ever go. I think I'll always have a sensitive bladder because mm. there was some sort of trauma from the from the birth. Maybe as time goes on, it will just improve and improve, Until hopefully. it'll fade. Like, when yeah. I think about where I'm at now compared to then, yeah, back like, then, I yeah. was bed-bound. Like, I know you was. It got so bad where, like, some days I just didn't even talk. Well, we even had a little break because of you. I feel like when I was going through a hard time, it was frustrating it was that Casey wanted to be there for us. I was pushing him away because I didn't want to be a burden, and it started to drive us apart. Deep down, I always knew I didn't want to split up with Casey, but he, had, he kind of had no choice. He had no choice to leave. I was just... I was unbearable, and I'm, I'm aware of that. a lot of messages, a lot of questions. Um, and if I'm honest, like, I know everyone means well, but I just... I just want everyone to just respect my privacy. No one will ever know what goes on behind closed doors. Like, I know that from experience, from personal experience. I was shocked when Marnie posted about the breakup on social media because I thought, whoa, like, this is real. Like, when she, because Marnie's not usually the type, in my opinion, to do that. So when that happened, I actually thought, oh shit, like, this could be over. I should not have reacted like that. It wasn't fair to Casey, it wasn't fair to his family. I was lashing out in anger and frustration because I was unhappy and I was depressed and I wasn't myself. Listen, Casey, you've known since you've, since you've met us that, like, us Geordies, we'll have a short fuse and if we have an argument, we'll take it to social media without thinking. Well, I know like that. Like an I, absolute dickhead. Well, I didn't say a word. I just had loads of people texting me going, what's going on? Are you and Marnie to go? I'm like, what? I go online, I just see you posting pictures of you and Rox in a ball pit going, just the two of us. I'm thinking, here we go. No, but that was absolutely... That was stupid. I feel like me and Casey have been through so much. I went through a really hard time with me bladder. Everyone's seen how tough it was, not just for me, but for Casey's well. I just hope that we're strong enough to get through it all.